Hey there, friends. Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you about about some stumbling, some interesting things that I've found while working with minimal APIs in ASP.NET Core. Now, I can wire up open API bindings and generate a cool page like this that has all the things that I need so that I can interact with and do those CRUD operations with my with my entities. In this case, contacts that I have here. Um, and I've got five methods to do the create, read, update, and delete on my contacts objects inside of an entity framework that's, that's sitting on disk, right? It's a SQLite database that I've written on disk. And the more and more that I interact with and work with minimal APIs and I want to build out this rich API set, these things are repeated code that I see again and again. Is there a way to do that better? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me go over to Visual Studio 2022 here. And inside my code, I have in my program file here, there's my configuration of my context that I've defined. And it's very simple with just one table right now called contacts. And I can scroll through here inside my, my program CS. I've hidden some of the other things that I don't want to talk about as part of this discussion. And we can get right into seeing that my database is created, I have my HTTP configuration, and I start defining those APIs here on line, on line 55, right up there. Now, um, look at them all, look at all this, just to write out that very simple HTTP interaction between, between HTTP, between a web request, and the actual writing and interacting with the database. I've written 45 lines of code to do that very basic get, fetch, update, insert, delete interaction. What if we could do that faster and easier and get you from, from database to building your application with Angular, Vue, React, or even Blazor quicker? Go from hours to minutes of development. So I was experimenting, and I know there's a number of folks that have built tools that do some similar things, but what if we could take these minimal API definitions and deliver it like this? Map instant APIs right there. Now, now we're talking. Now one line of code point to my entity framework context and let's generate, let's generate my APIs for me. Let's generate those endpoints that I can interact with and get the exact same code, the exact same interaction. We'll get Visual Studio rebuilding here. Here comes our swagger code and there it is. I've got the same five APIs. That's not bad, that's pretty cool. I'll give you one more feature that we've considered and built while, while tinkering with this concept here. I'll go back over to my code and in the configuration for my instant APIs here, Let's add a little bit of configuration and I will say config include table and on my database, I want to include the contacts table, but I wanted to find just a few methods to include. Let's, let's make those read interactions available, make only those available. So I'll specify APIs to generate and I'll say, give me the get and give me APIs to generate get by ID. I'll save that. Yep, let it rebuild, reapply those changes and relaunch my browser. And with just a few lines of code, I've now can reconfigured my API and it looks like this. And I've got just those two get interactions. Okay, um, is this something valuable? Is this something you're interested in? There's so many directions to go from here introducing view models, introducing ways to inject code before and after these methods are uh, executed. Maybe there's logging, maybe there's the ability to bind directly and add extra information for open API, or maybe there's gRPC bindings that we want to drop in here. Lots to think about, lots to talk about. I want to get your opinion about this. Check out the links just down below that'll get you into the GitHub repository and also into the NuGet package that you can download and start tinkering with and generating your APIs from Entity Framework using ASP.NET Core and .NET 6 today.